Hey guys, Hope you Equestrian Center, and today I'm going to be showing you another homemade for your Schleich project. You will need a horse. I am using Blue Eagle, my paint stallion, some tweezers, scissors, white felt, red felt, jump rings. You will need seven millimeter jump rings. You will also need some ribbon and a hot glue gun. So what you're going to do is take your horse, for me it's my paint, and you're going to take your lightest color out of the two felts. So obviously it's the white. You're going to cut out a rectangle that goes around the horse's mid-back. and from bottom of his belly to the other side of his belly and cut that out. Once you do that, you should have a rectangle like this that will drape over his back. Next, take either color fabric and cut out a one centimeter width and two and a half centimeters length rectangle. It should be about this big. So you're going to start off with your piece of felt and your tweezers. And you're going to take your felt and your tweezers and you're going to clamp it right at the edge. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over towards you. So it looks something like that. Then you're going to hold on to it, take out the tweezer, hold on to it again, then fold it the opposite way. You're kind of making a loose triangle. This is to form the rows. Now you're going to fold it towards me again and pinch it. Now not all pieces will have that little extra tab but it's always nice if they do. So now you're going to take that and bring it over to your hot glue gun. Then you're going to glue that little edge not too much, fold it over and hold. And remember to take off your tweezers so they don't get stuck in there. And there you have it, your first rows. It will always get better in time. The more you practice, the more you will get better at it. So you will have this little glued seam, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of all the loose um, hot glue gun strands. And I'm going to show you how to do this again with white. Okay, so we have the white piece of felt and your tweezers. I'm going to show you how to do this the way that I'm looking at it. It makes it a lot easier for you guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch right at the edge. Then you're going to fold it over at an angle, almost like a triangle. Pinch it, slowly take out the tweezer, and pinch the edge again. Then you're going to bring it over to the opposite side, pinch, and let go. I'm going really slowly so you can see how I'm doing this kind of hard when you have big fingers. So now once you're done your entire rose, there's no more extra piece, you just squeeze it and bring it over to the hot glue gun. So you've got the hot glue gun, you're just going to glue this little edge, not too much, then you're going to pinch and squeeze, make sure that it's nice and tight and it won't fall out. And you can see you've got that nice swirl happening. Kind of like a cartoon rose. It looks really nice and for Schleich it's quite realistic. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it with the red now so you can see it in color.
there we go and you've got that beautiful rose shape it looks so nice now we're going to glue it onto the blanket okay so as you can see I've already started my pattern it just goes red white red white white red white red and it just goes on from that pattern and now I'm just going to show you how to put it on you also when you're cutting this you want to make sure that it'll fit four flowers on it it looks better in four you can do five or six but for me four is just right I've already got one on this row it's a big, quite a big white flower so what we're going to do is take our red rose and you can see that there's two sides you can put it on so you want to pick the side that has a little bit more curl and looks more rose like so I'm going to pick this side for having it facing upwards now you're going to take the hot glue gun and put it underneath and glue just a little dot, not too much, onto the rose. Put it on and push down onto the felt. And there, you've got your rose. We're gonna, I'm going to finish off this row and then I will, yeah. I'm going to finish off this row so you can see how to do it. If you need to trim it, because this one has, you can see that little point right there, just take your scissors and just do a little trim. Just like pruning the bush. There we go. So this is going to be my top of my flower, so I'm going to flip it around, do a tiny little dot, there we go, and put it on the edge, ow, careful not to burn yourself, just like I did. Then I'm going to take my fourth flower and start my sixth row. You want to work fast, but not too fast, that it looks sloppy. Okay, so I am on my last row of flowers, and I've got all four right here. And now I'm going to put them on. But before I do that, I have to tell you something. You will see on every rose that you make you might get a little glue line like this right here well on the last and first lines you want to put the seams against the other flowers you don't want it to be facing outwards or else it won't look nice so I have to trim off that little glue piece and I will show you what I mean So you're going to put the rose in front of the white. So you can see the line right there. Then start with the white. thing too that I'm almost done because I'm on my last pieces of glue. You can see that this white one isn't staying up. So what you do 
is just take your glue gun and you're just going to glue the edge of it right on the inside. Then push it up against the other flower. So then by the time it dries, it should stay. And if you get any more falling ones, like this red rose right here is falling, so I'm going to also glue that one. Don't want a lot of glue, just enough to keep it together. There we go. So that looks really good. Now we're going to take the horse and we're going to put it on. Now it might not actually stay on the horse. Like you can see that it's got a little bit of a gap like that. So I'm going to show you something to fix that. In my ribbon container I've got two reds. I've got a red with a sparkly edge or just a regular red. I personally am going to take the one with the sparkles because it looks a lot more like you're going to be in a show. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your horse and you're just going to take your flower blanket you just made and put it over top of the horse. Then you're going to take the ribbon you're going to use and slip it just underneath and hold like so then bring it around I'll tell you how much you'll need you'll need around seven to eight centimeters of your choice of ribbon now take your flower pad and you can see that the ribbon has kind of a natural curl to it I'm going to use that and I'm going to put a small dot of ribbon right at the tip in the middle on the back side of the blanket and I'm going to put the ribbon on it and hold. Because hot glue gun is so good it probably will not um, probably will not fall off so it looks really good. Now what you're going to do take your jump rings and a two to three centimeter piece of ribbon, same ribbon as you used, and glue it, glue the ribbon in the middle on the opposite side like so. Careful not to burn yourself. There. So this is what it should look like so far on the back. Now you're going to undo your jump rings. And take two. I'm going to put back the cover. Now take your two jump rings or if you know how to make a clasp then you can also do that and put them on top of the ribbon like this. You want to put them through so they're just sliding. Then you want to fold it over in half. I gave three centimeters is perfect length so I'll use three centimeters of ribbon then hot glue, hot glue this edge and fold over the ribbon make sure not to get the jump rings caught in the glue and there you go, you've got your little clasp so now, time to put it on 
Blue Eagle. And there you go. You have your Champion Rose Blanket. This is a great tutorial. It is a little bulky, but the bigger your horse is, the less it will look big and bulky. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and if you want any tutorial done, just ask me and I will show you how to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!